The Trump administration is planning on coming after journalists. This is from Reuters. U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions taking up an issue that has infuriated Republican President Donald Trump when on the attack against the leaks on Friday, warning of a possible crackdown on, on reporters, crackdown both on reporters and their sources inside the federal government. In a move derided by critics as an attack on the free press, Sessions said the administration was reviewing policies on forcing journalists to reveal their sources. It is, however, difficult to prosecute members of the news media in the United States for publishing leaked information. Sessions also told the employees of government agencies to stop leaking and called the issue a matter of national security. Trump has repeatedly voiced anger over a steady stream of leaks to the media about him and his and his administration since he took office in January. Okay, so this is the biggest load of horse shit I've ever seen. Um, that's what the government's always going to hide behind. That's always going to be their go-to move to hide behind it so that they can try to conceal more information from you that they shouldn't be allowed to conceal. Oh, national security. National security. National security risk. Oh my god, national security. Oh my god, if you run with that story, ISIS is going to attack Toledo in about seven minutes. That's just not true. So what he's referring to, this the recent round of leaks uh, that got quite a bit of coverage, uh, it was President Trump's conversation with the Australian Prime Minister. Is it Prime Minister or President in Australia? Whatever. The Australian leader. There we go. Um, and it was his conversation with the Mexican president. And we covered the story with the Mexican president because he said to the Mexican president, yeah, look, the wall is going to be the least important thing that we talk about. But please stop telling the press that you're not going to pay for it. Because that's all everybody, you're going to pay for it. And I say you're not going to pay for it. <laughs> um, so that exposed him as a little b bitch. <laughs> He was a little bitch, um, and he was groveling, and he also said the walls is really not that important, so that was big news. And then with the the Australian leader, I went with leader that time, uh, he was saying, no, do I have to accept, apparently under Obama we made deals, we made a deal to accept a certain number of immigrants uh, through, that came through Australia, and... Trump was supposed to honor that deal, and he was talking to the Australian leader and saying, well, um, I don't want to really abide by that because it makes me look bad. And the guy's like, dude, you got to abide by it. He's like, fine, you know what, if I have to take them, I'll take them, but I don't want to do it, and I don't want to abide by it, and I don't like it. So, you know, he had two phone calls. Now, in terms of what's actually threatening to national security in those calls, nothing. Absolutely nothing. So the fact that the content of those calls were leaked is irrelevant. It just makes the leaders butt hurt because they feel like, oh, I have no privacy. Bitch, you don't have a right to privacy. You uh, ran for public office. When you are conducting public duties... Duties. <laughs> stop. Stop. Let's be serious here. It's a serious conversation. But when you're, you know, doing public work... If something happens to leak and there's nothing that's a real matter of national security in there, I file that under, okay, good. Good. This idea that like, oh, you elect your leaders and then they can do everything in secrecy from you. That's t total and utter horseshit. That's not how a democracy is supposed to work. You're supposed to have transparency. So all the crying and whining and bitching and moaning. <laughs> national security. No, that's not true. Stop being a, a precious little snowflake who's triggered by the microaggression of people actually knowing what the fuck you're doing with your goddamn time. And don't try to, you know, make this a part of the thing, oh, Kyle wouldn't say that if it was Obama in office. Bitch, yes, I would. It doesn't matter if it's Republican or Democrat. If they are talking about policy issues and there is actually nothing that's damaging to national security uh, in the content of what they're talking about, of course the public should have a right to know what they're saying. That's a good thing. That's a positive thing. These are leakers. These aren't... These are, are whistleblowers and leakers. These aren't like criminals who are violating the law. But nonsense. Notice, the government will always, always, always try to make things classified or top secret if it makes them look bad. 
That's the go-to move because then if it ever leaks, they go, well, now we're going to have to punish the people who leaked it because we said this was top secret and classified. You leaked it. Therefore, you're the criminal. And this is exactly the trick they did with Chelsea Manning. This is the trick that they, they did with Edward Snowden. Edward Snowden goes, hey, man, the government is uh, not abiding by the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution. <laughs> They're doing unreasonable searches and seizures everywhere and collecting everybody's metadata. I think the American people should know that. And the government goes, oh, how dare you? Uh, you? What you did was illegal. You leaked stuff. So kill the messenger. See exactly what they're doing there? Uh, same thing with uh, Chelsea Manning. Hey, look, here's a video of the U.S., our military, massacring civilians and journalists and laughing about it. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe you released that. Uh, illegal. We're going to lock you up. So again, kill the messenger. Those are things that sh the public has a right to know what the government is doing with our money in our name. And what the government does is anything that they find embarrassing makes them look bad. Uh, classified, top secret. Now if you leak it, you're the criminal. But what if you're the criminal? Who's going to watch the watchmen? What if you're the criminal? What if the government is doing criminal actions? What if the government is just conducting regular government business about public policy that the American people have a right to know about? What, if, what about that? No, they always want, no, see, no, we can't, don't leak that, because then we're going to come after you. And that's exactly what uh, Jeff Sessions said he's going to do here. Now, after the backlash over this, the State Department was like, no, nah, did we say that we were going to not come after? No, nah, I don't know if we were actually going to come after, but we're saying that this is not good, but don't worry, we're not going to pursue legal action because of the First Amendment, we can't do that. But uh, 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 uh. Thank you for clarifying, we really appreciate that. <laughs> um... No, of course they're going to do that. Jeff Sessions did a whole talk about it, saying, yeah, we're going to by use whatever avenue possible to crack down on the sources of the leaks and reporters. So, And we warned you, man, we warned you. This reminded me of, what was it, David Gregory back when he was the host of Meet the Press? And um, he had on Glenn Greenwald to chastise him and say, why shouldn't the government lock you up? Why shouldn't the government lock you up? And it, he was saying that because, hey, look, Edward Snowden, the stuff he gave to you to report on was illegal. Don't you have some responsibility for running with the illegal leaks? And at the time, every single one of us who's on the actual left said, whoa, 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 whoa. Anybody who's, you know, cheerleading... David Gregory saying maybe Glenn Greenwald should be locked up for being a journalist and doing his job. You have no idea what precedent you're setting right now. Because on top of just being unethical and immoral and wrong in that instance, you're setting a precedent where the government just, I don't know, if you leak anything we don't like, we're just going to say that's against the law and we're going to try to lock you up. And now the chickens are coming home to roost in that you have an administration that the liberal elite class doesn't like that the David Gregory's of the world go, oh man, this guy's this guy's nuts talking about Trump. Now, now you've opened the door and you've given that guy the power to go after not just people who are leaking the information, but the journalists who report on it. And one of the main reasons they couldn't really go after Glenn Greenwald is because everybody ended up reporting on it. What are you going to do? Take reporters from the Washington Post and the New York Times and every outlet imaginable and lock them up? So, I mean... Now you see the authoritarian streak coming out. Obama was bad enough. He had a war on whistleblowers. He had a war on whistleblowers. Now we're talking about a war on whistleblowers and a war on journalists. And you have explicit threats being made about we'll pursue legal action if we see any more leaks. You know damn well if this was under Hillary Clinton. If, if Hillary Clinton was president and people were leaking conversations she was having with other world leaders. And there's no real damaging national security information in there. Would Jeff Sessions be like, oh, come on, ladies and gentlemen, what are we doing? We must go after these leakers. No, they'd be encouraging them. Why? Because people like this are partisan hack idiots. And it's all about them cover up when we do things, but when others do, expose it when the Democrats do it. No, let's be consistent. Let's be principled. Yes, uh, people who leak information, that's good as long as you're actually not leaking like the nuclear fucking launch codes or something. Yes. Leaking that information is good. Reporting on it is good. And to, to be against that is to be against 
the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. Whether or not you realize it, whether or not you acknowledge it, if you want to crack down on whistleblowers, you want to crack down on the journalists who are reporting on this stuff, the problem is you because you're clearly authoritarian.